Each year, we welcome thousands of nonprofits to the Nonprofit Technology Conference. This year, the 12 NTC will be held in San Francisco on April 3rd through the 5th. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC. Or if you can't join us in person, find out how you can still connect, learn, and change the world at the NTC Online. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC forward slash online. We put together a series of video podcasts featuring just a few of the more than 100 sessions at the event. Today we're talking to Brian Rich, who will be joining us for our plenary on innovation on April 5th. Tell us who you are. Sure. Uh, Brian Rich. I am uh, the author of Shift and Reset, Strategies for Addressing Serious Issues in a Connected Society, and uh, uh, will be participating in as many conversations as possible at the upcoming uh, NTC in April. Why do you want to talk about innovation? First is, I think we really have to uh, define innovation. And my definition or, or the, the focus from an innovation standpoint that I think we need to be uh, applying to the nonprofit sector is on big change. Um, you know, there are uh, really in many respects any change in behavior, any change in organizational approach, any change in thinking is is innovative, right? It, it mm -hmm. opens up a new opportunity and a new approach. But uh, I think we're, we're at this incredible moment uh, in time with the evolution of the tools, with the reality that nonprofit organizations in particular can play this really exciting role, um, that we have to go way beyond these incremental changes and, and think about innovation as uh, the potential to do things that, that fundamentally have never been done before that had never thought to be even possible. So are you saying a little change isn't good enough anymore? We're, we are stuck in this spiral of, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, but the world is moving at a much faster rate. So I think we've almost artificially slowed ourselves. We've given permission to social media to do the safe stuff instead of the opposite, which is to in, to take the invitation that being social as a as a world gives us to to go after the stuff that had never been gone after before. When does innovation happen? That that moment when you are not focused on the thing that you think you're supposed to focus on, that is where the innovation happens. And yeah. then rest is execution, but we need, those, we need those moments where our brains explode. What happens if nonprofits don't innovate? But if you're talking about addressing poverty, addressing hunger, curing disease, whatever, while you go slow and safe and you know, keep your organizational doors open and blah, 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 as the world hockey sticks, people suffer. Mm -hmm. And so there are, there are real consequences to our inability or unwillingness to kind of move at the speed at which society is now moving. And they're dangerous, scary, real consequences that, you know, in many cases may not be always reversible. We have the potential to influence much more than that first domino. Mm -hmm. And so knowing that and having that potential, if we say we want to have that whole chain of dominoes fall, but all we're willing to do is play around with that first domino, then, then we're, we're ignoring the reality of the time. Mm -hmm. Fair or unfair, right? If you set out to accomplish something big in your mission, you either accomplish it or you should go out of business. But we all know that change takes time, right? The other thing that I, I think people have forgotten is how quickly we can do things. So it doesn't take a year. It doesn't take a strategic planning process. It doesn't take, you know... Uh, even a second replication of something before we can learn and adjust and make those changes. So not only do I think we have to remember to always have that big thing, you know, in the distance that we're shooting for, but I think we have to remember that the, 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 the incrementalism has to be compressed much more. The speed at which we make decisions and make changes and try things um, has to be accelerated. What do you want to see happen at the 12 MTC? You know, my challenge is come with the big idea, right? I want everyone like to have a note card and say, you know, my big challenge, my big thing I want to accomplish, what I got into business to do as an organization is this. 
and I don't have the foggiest idea how to get from point A to point B. Like I want those challenges put out there because the gathering of intelligence and passion and resources that goes to NTC, we could innovate in like real time. But we're not going to innovate in real time if we look at any of the case studies, any of the examples, any of the things that we've done in the last year since the last time we gathered and say, oh, okay, well, they had success doing that, so we'll just do that. That's not innovation. That's emulation. We want big change, big solutions, you know, a real opportunity to take the intelligence of the nonprofit community that comes together, you know, accelerate it with technology and drive it. So my challenge is grab your note card. Write down your big challenge, you know, and I mean, I'll do it and I'm confident because I know the NTC crowd, I think, pretty well. Mm -hmm. I think you'll find a lot of people who will be like, oh, what's on your card? I got an idea for you. I got a change you can make. I got an innovation you can explore. Anyway.